finally gonna show you guys my apartment tour. Now I've been in this place for nearly four months now and we only signed a six month lease so we haven't decided if we wanted to stay or not. I mean it looks really nice and you guys probably see it's got really lovely high ceilings and everything like that but it's just so hot inside and our internet's super slow and you know just regular day-to-day -day things that you expect to be good aren't as great in this building as we would have hoped. I pretty much just chucked this one together so you guys can see how I set things out in my place. If I remember I'll just let you know where I get certain things from. So the first thing you see when you walk in is pretty much just a giant hallway. To the left straight away there's a little office room, we just use it for storage for now. Then we've got our housemate's bedroom, I'm not going to go in there because, you know, privacy and stuff. Keep walking up the hallway and then it sort of splits off again. On the left side of this little hallway there's like a laundry room, on the right there's just some storage cupboards and then straight through we've got our main bathroom. Now if we just keep going up the hallway, yes it goes forever. This is one of those hallways that when people are leaving you can say goodbye for about five minutes as they're making their way to the front door. And we've got our bedroom here and yeah, we pretty much never make the bed really, it just we just throw the sheets on. I'll put a link to the bedroom tour below because I'm not going to go into here. Now if we keep making our way down the hallway, this is Bo's little studio room, so for those of you who don't know, he's like a DJ slash producer kind of thing as well, I'll leave a link to his SoundCloud. So straight away we've got the ghost chair and then we've also got a little cabinet from Ikea with a bunch of magazines and some of my uni textbooks. Got our Eames dining set there. Yeah, everything's pretty white. I like to have the canvases stacked against the wall. I need to get some more. Those are salt and pepper shakers from fab.com. I've had them for ages now, so I'm not sure if they still sell them. Then we've got another Eames chair, some Icelandic sheepskin, a cowskin rug. Sorry, guys. Then this is our Barcelona lounge and two ugly pillows, which are really good for leaning on. Just Bose TV on his cabinet, a bunch of little plants around and some Companiblis, they're the name of the little round containers. We have a little outdoor area that we never really use, we've got, you know, a little outdoor setting and a fridge but we, we don't go out there. These are just some shelves we threw together with Besser blocks, obviously, and yeah, that's, I don't know, super hipster and weird but we really, really like them and I just like keeping our filing in some of the black boxes on there. And this is my little desk area, so... It took me ages to find that cage netting stuff and we've got a little desk organizer from fab.com, just my laptop there as well and some plants. Now we go into the kitchen and yeah look at that drying up rack. The meal prep containers, they're pretty much always there and we've got a toaster and some scales from Target. I feel like I've forgotten heaps of stuff but yeah, if there's anything that you want to know where it's from, just leave me a comment below and I'll let you know. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next week. Bye now.